Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you have not, if you're tuning in and you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you guys, because I'm always bringing the heat and always bringing great motivation to help you, to inspire you, to wise up and rise up inside of your lives. So let's get into it. If you click this video, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. You already know that I'm going to bring some motivation, great tips and tools on how you can be able to get closure within yourself without having to get closure from the other person. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because at the end of the day, I'm hearing a lot of people just asking the wrong questions, right? Asking the wrong questions on wanting to understand somebody else who doesn't want to be understood or wanting to understand and what do I mean by that is understand you, we kill ourselves and we ask ourselves, why did this person do this to me? Like, what did I do so wrong to them? You know, why can't they see my value? Why can't they see my worth? Like, why can't they just love me? Or why can't they give me that closure that I want? Why can't they tell me the reason why they cheated? Why can't they tell me the reason why they hurt me? Or why they can't respect me? Or why they can't love me? Or, you know, why, why this, why this, why that? And a lot of times, the questions that the closure that we want from the those other people sometimes a they're just being really spiteful and they don't want to give you that closure right or b they don't even know why they did it themselves right because sometimes people do things because at the end of the day they are hurt within themselves and they don't want to face that hurt hurt within themselves to heal themselves because they rather take the easy route out which a lot of people do right like Sometimes, you know, when you get out of a toxic relationship, you know you need to heal, but you jump back into another relationship. Why? Because you don't want to do that inner work, right? You don't want to face those inner demons that are going to bring you more pain, bring you more stress, more anxiety, more fear, and just bring you into a, a, a situation where you're trying to get yourself out of. So sometimes, you know, on the other end, we jump into... We get hurt from somebody and then we just jump right into another relationship. And then we kill ourselves for, again, not knowing why that other person did what they did to us. And then we end up getting ourselves into another similar relationship, right? So the reason why I wanted to bring light onto this topic and motivate, inspire, and help somebody out there who needs to hear these words and to help them to understand that you're not always sometimes going to get closure. And how can you deal with if you don't get that closure? So... And the reason why I'm talking about this to help you inspire, because anybody who watches my videos know everything that I talk about, been there, done that, been through it, either healing from it or, you know, experienced it and already moved forward from it. And, and I share what are the tips and, and things that I did to deal with the situation and topics that I help um, talk about on this YouTube channel to motivate, inspire, and help you guys to wise up and rise up inside of your life. Because I always look at it as at the end of the day, if you really truly want to heal from a situation that happened to you, the best thing that you could do is become wise of the situation and learn and grow from that situation. And that's what will help you to rise up into a better place inside of your life. So with that being said, again, one, one, uh, one tip I can give you on dealing with if you don't get the closure, we'll start off with is understanding that sometimes, again, I said it earlier on, is sometimes people don't even know why they do the things that they do to you. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, what the hell? They did it. How do they not know that it was wrong? Didn't they know they, they were going to hurt me? Didn't they know that they we're together? And why would they do that? At the end of the day, again, a lot of people are dealing with inner demons or just inner pains and traumas of you know, somebody lying to them, somebody cheating on them or somebody hurting them. And it's just like, it becomes like this defense mechanism that they put up and they do these things to protect themselves kind of in a way. I know it sounds strange, but that's how uh, sometimes other people are looking at it. It's like, oh, I'm going to make sure that I have a backup plan. So I'm going to cheat on this girl or I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do because I want to make myself happy. And, it, and that's the thing, right? Is understanding that even sometimes if you don't get that closure it's understanding that people do the best that they can at where they're mentally at right so even though you might be at a mental state of knowing right from wrong 
that person may not be in a mental state where they're even looking at what's right and wrong. And again, each to its own. Everybody has free will, right? So that person that you may think they did something wrong, that other person might turn around and be like, well, it's not as bad as you're looking at it, right? And we all have free will. We're all entitled to look and how we want to look. And at the end of the day, even though somebody had did something wrong to you, they're still looking out for themselves and they're doing what's best for themselves. So it's always turning around and saying that person did what's best for them. Now I got to do what's best for me. So you take back control and you take back the, the need of not being able to know why to now saying, you know what? That person did the best that they could on their mental headspace. And now I'm going to do the best that I can do with my mental headspace, but understanding what I, what I know I deserve, what I know I want, and what I know I don't want, right? And from you looking, taking the, the attention off of that person and now putting the attention on, on you, you're now taking back and owning back your, your power and understanding that damn, I, I don't need that closure. Because at the end of the day, think about it this way. This is another tip I'll give to you guys about closure if you don't get the closure. If that person had lied or cheated or hurt you in some sort of way and you've seen that they had a pattern of lying and you always feeling like you were going crazy trying to figure out things about that person and they kept hurting you, think about it this way. What makes you think if you want that closure and that closure is them talking to you, that closure of them giving you an explanation why they did what they did. How do you know? Ask yourself this question. If they lied before, what makes you think that they won't come back and give you a story of lies and feed you with a bunch of lies just to shut you up or just to get back again what they want from you, right? And then you're thinking that you'll get that closure. But again, remember... They, people only give to you the best that they, on where they're at inside of life. So if you're at a better state mentally than they are, you can't expect somebody to come back at you and treat you the same way. Because again, everybody has something called free will and everybody just thinks differently, right? So sometimes what eats us up and wanting that closure is the expectation I treated them so good. I expect them to at least give me an explanation, at least show me the bit of respect to say this to me or say that to me. And we have, and, and, and wanting that closure comes stems from our ego just wanting an, a story, just wanting to hear something, right? But when you can let go of the ego and let go of, you know what? That person lied to me so, and come down to the facts of understanding that person lied, that person cheated, that person did this and that person did that. You know what? Me, them coming to me and telling me some story, how do I know I would even be able to trust what they're going to say anyways? So do I really need that closure from them? Or is it the closure just going to feed my ego to say, okay, I got an explanation. I got a, I, I got them telling me what it is. I can move on then. And sometimes it's us lying to ourselves that even when we get that closure, we still want more. We still want to know this and know that and know this and know that because we're not satisfied. And at the end of the day, that's why the true satisfaction comes from within inside of you. The true closure comes within inside of you. You will get that closure once you can l dig deep inside of you and understand how did I even allow all these stuff to happen? What can I do to work on myself, to love myself, to make sure that I'm not going to allow this to happen again to me, right? And again, just taking the, the, the um, attention off of the other person and now putting it onto you, right? And loving you because at the end of the day, when you go through a situation where somebody hurt you, someone lied to you, someone stabbed you in your back, somebody did something to hurt you and you so badly want that closure from that other person, sometimes the biggest closure that you will get is knowing the facts, 
knowing what's in front of you, knowing exactly what that person did to you. Sometimes that's the best closure and it's the honest closure. Because like I said, you that person could come back to you and give you some story that you want to hear, right? And they come back into your life and they manipulate you. They lie to you. They, you know, they, they tell you this huge story. You get sucked back in. And then after that, you're, you're back living out a same pattern over and over and over and over again, right? That sometimes hurts you even more getting that closure, right? Where at the end of the day, your true closure should be the actions and the things that that person was doing to you. Sometimes that's the best closure you can and the realest and the most honest closure you can get. Because that's the facts. That's the reality. Nobody can lie about that. Nobody can, you know, talk talk into a whole story of manipulating you on what is the reality, what is facts. And the reality and the facts is, is the actions that they were taking towards you, it's already plain straight in front of your face. That's why sometimes, again, the closure that we seek and the closure that we want is ego-driven. It's our ego just wanting some sort to be fed some sort of story. When if we can really align ourselves with the facts and come down to understanding that everything that we want when it comes to closure, is already given to us, already in plain sight. But our ego, it clings on to stories, just wants to hear a story. So when you can sit down with yourself and say to yourself, how this person treated me, was it disrespectful? Did they lie to me? Did they stab me in my back? Did they do this? Did, did all those negative things, sometimes that disrespect, that lie, that that you know conniving attitude and all this negative things that that person was doing to you is the best damn closure you can ever ask for right and it's plain sight in front of your face that person doesn't need to come back and tell you no story because at the end of the day their actions said it all right their actions said it all so sometimes again the closure that we're clinging on to and the closure that we want and why this person cheated on us why they pick this person over us or why did they do this and this is their action says, says it all. At the end of the day, it's understanding everybody has free will and nobody owes you, and coming down to understanding nobody owes you shit inside of this world. Like I and say in all my videos, you came in this world by yourself, you're coming out of this world by yourself. And at the end of the day, it's just working on you, knowing that if they don't see your value, if they're not gonna respect you, if they're not gonna treat you good, if they're gonna lie to you, if they're gonna sneak around and they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that, that's the best damn closure you'll ever get right? To help you to learn, right? A great valuable lesson about how you want to be treated in life and what you truly want. And now you know what you don't want and what you know that you won't accept inside of your life from another person, right? And sometimes that's enough closure for you to move forward, right? And it's taking a step back and looking at these tips that I'm giving you to really analyze your situation and saying, you know what? I'm not going to kill myself because sometimes that's what we do. We put ourselves down and we get into this spiral of a hole of depression, anxiety, and we keep killing ourselves thinking about this person and thinking about wanting to know the why when all the answers is right in front of us. That 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 person's words and that person coming back and telling you a big story right, is not going to change the actions that they did towards you. It's not going to change the disrespect. It's not going to change the lies. It's not going to change this cheating. I don't know what your situation is listening to this video, but it's not going to change any of those negative things that that person put you through, right? It's just going to them come back inside of your life and try to pull you back into a toxic situation, right? I made a quote and I posted up um, on my on my TikTok. At the end of the day, you cannot get well in a sick environment, being stuck in a sick, toxic environment. You will never get better. You will continuously be sick. And what do I mean by being sick in a toxic environment? You will con continuously go through depression. You will continuously go through anxiety. You'll continuously go through anger. You'll continuously go through frustration. You'll continuously go through sadness. You'll continuously go through all these sick, fe sick feelings, staying in a sick toxic environment that got you damn well sick in the first place if that environment got you sick in the first place you're gonna continue 
to be sick being in that sick environment so the only way that you can get yourself better and feeling better is getting out of that sick environment getting yourself better by understanding these tips that i'm giving you on my youtube channel right and doing the inner work and understanding right that life is not happening to you life is happening for you so all those things that that person did to you the cl real closure is understanding the learning lessons from what that person put you through, what that person did to you, right? That's the real closure. So I hope this video has inspired you in some sort of way. If, that, if you are in a situation and you're not getting the closure that you feel that you deserve, I hope that this video has given you some tips on how you can honestly come to terms with if you don't get that closure, that's all good. You already got closure from the actions that that person put you through, from the things that that person put you through, from the 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 all all the the memories of lies, um, cheating, or whatever that person negative shit that that person put you through. That's enough closure for you to step up and say, you know what? I know what I want. I know what I deserve. I know what. I don't want, I know what I'm not willing to accept and be able to do the inner work to move forward to attract better into your life and attract what you do deserve. And that that right there, getting out of that toxic mindset of killing yourself and wanting to know the closure to now flipping the script and stop taking the attention off of them and put the attention on you is going to give you the true the, the, the true closure to start getting better and start healing from those sicknesses of that person and start rising up and wising up inside of your life. So thanks so much for hopping on you guys and watching this video. I hope that it uplifted you and inspired you in some sort of way. I say in all my videos, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge. If you have found value inside of this video and you know somebody else who's going through you know, a really hard time and wanting and clinging on and really killing themselves and wanting to have that closure, this video can give them that closure. This video can inspire them to feel that they already have the closure that they're so desperately dying for, right? So share it, you know, help somebody, uh, lift somebody else up in their situation. And that's exactly what I'm doing on this YouTube channel is trying to help people wise up and rise up inside of their life to become a better version of themselves. If you guys enjoy my videos, join the Wise Up, Rise Up community, you guys. I have an amazing podcast that I pose up every Thursdays on Anchor and Spotify called the Wise Up, Rise Up podcast. I also have an amazing TikTok, you got a TikTok account that I post up a lot of great things about relationships on there. It's growing so, it's so amazing. Go check it out, you guys. I'm going to leave all the links inside of the comments, you guys. So join the community. Let's wise up and rise up together, you guys. And keep growing and keep, you know, just becoming a better version of ourselves. And that's exactly why, why I make these videos. So make sure you're staying tuned, you guys. And thanks so much for hopping on and watching this video. Take care.